Come here. Oh, oh, yep, that's what I figured. Today, I'll explore Carousel Mall and take you inside with me. Originally called Central City Mall from 1972 to 1991, it was a bustling shopping center in the heart of San Bernardino, California, and had a name change to Carousel Mall from 1991 to 2017. This mall was a hub of activity, offering a variety of stores, restaurants, and even a classic carousel ride that gave the mall its name. But over the years, the mall experienced a dramatic decline, leading to its eventual closure in 2017 and finally demolished in 2023. So join me as we explore the rise and fall of Carousel Mall, uncovering its history and remnants left behind. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the Tier 1 package. For $5 a month in the Tier 2 package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Now enjoy the show. Okay, so I just want to start off by saying that before you enter this mall, you have got to wear a mask because this is the most blown out, and I mean blown out mall I've ever seen. And you have got to watch your footsteps every single step of the way. This is absolutely disgusting. And I think that is the mall straight ahead I don't know if y'all could see that, but that's the light towards the mall, I think. So let's go that way. Crews with SoCal Edison working for hours to repair an underground vault at the shuttered Carousel Mall in San Bernardino. That's after a city spokesperson tells us one person attempted to break in, not knowing the power was still on. We believe that they were attempting to remove copper or other things to scavenge, and they hit a live line and electrocuted themselves. A body was later recovered. Nearby building owner Alan Stanley providing us this surveillance video from that same morning. A person wearing a backpack walking outside the mall at around 3.30 Wednesday morning. It wasn't until just after 7 a.m. a fire was reported at the mall. SoCal Edison also detecting circuit activity causing a power outage to more than 400 customers in the area. I just made it inside the mall and it's a very windy day. Everything is busted up top, like the skylights. So there is quite a bit of wind coming through the small, or at least the breeze. And if it sounds like I'm breathing heavy right now, because I am, um, right now I got a mask on. And it's a little bit hard to breathe in this thing, but this small has got to be the most blown out. I have ever seen in a mall. This mall or either that one in Ohio that I did, I forgot the name of it, but good gracious. And look at the trees. The trees are still hanging in there. They look like they have seen better days. They are maybe going to heaven. I don't know yet, but that is disgusting. <laughs> I love it here, but it is nasty. I don't think many people would want to visit here just because it's so blown out. But like, if you want a post-apocalyptic movie to be filmed, film it here. Because maybe something like The Last of Us or something, it would be the perfect spot to do it in, for sure. There is a goose inside here. Can y'all see that on film? How do you get in here? How the hell did he get in here, dude? I don't know. I would try to help him, but I think he's probably gonna end up dying here if I don't help him somehow. I don't know how to catch a goose. He's gonna just fly away from me. 
Do y'all see that? Let me zoom a little bit further. Come here. I don't even know how he got in here. Okay, I don't know what to do. Yeah, see, every time I get closer to him, he like scurries off. I'm try to get a little bit closer to him. Come here. You need some help? Yeah, see, he's like walking off. I don't know how I'm gonna catch this thing. That's a big bird. I could probably help him if he was much, much smaller. But every time I get close to, look, look, he's walking, look, look. Come here. He's gonna walk away every time I try to go up to him, watch. Come here. I'm trying to help you, guy. Come here. Come here. know what to do I hate to see him like that because I got a feeling he's not gonna get out of here alive unless I help him somehow some way oh man I do not know what to do all right I'm gonna come back for you hopefully I'll find a way on how to get you out of here but yeah not looking too good right now okay let's uh, continue the tour and Hopefully he makes his way out of here soon. Sure that goose got in through one of the skylights up top because the closer I get to the skylights, I hear more geese. So um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to throw him up into like one of those skylights unless he somehow finds a way. Man, I feel bad for him. But look at this mall. This is absolutely torn to shreds. I tell you what, it's uh, pretty chill in here, pretty relaxed. Kind of cool. Let's take a, a closer look at those clocks and the flag. Why not while we're here, right? Yeah, I love to look at that clock right there. It's like a four-way clock. It used to tell the time, and you can see there's a camera right there, but I'm pretty sure that's not active anymore. You scroll along here, you got some pink flags, blue flags, and I like those little things too. If I would have guessed what that is or was, maybe some kind of neon lighting, which look like a mirror. That section is completely blocked off. Whatever that was, could have been a store, maybe like Macy's or JCPenney or something. All right, let's keep exploring, see what we can find. Okay, so this is what that was. I thought it was a store. This is actually an entrance into the mall area. Okay, I get it, yeah. See all those boards right there? They totally blocked it off. So there's a mall plant, original. Um, let's head back, kind of where we came from, and let's swing a left that way, see what's over there. I tell you what, I mean, this mall, I'll tell you, it's, it's got to be between Ohio or this mall right here in California. It's one of the most blown out malls I've ever seen. Kind of reminds me of uh, Detroit a little bit. How every abandoned building is completely blown out. Most of them anyway. That was a store. Don't know what that black thing is against the wall. Don't want to find out, but it looks like it's curled up in a ball. Yep, we'll save that for another video. Screw that. I know I want to investigate bad, but it's just me today. So, yeah, so much for that crap. Where's that goose? I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he went. What is back here? Let's check it out. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This mall is so blown out, you start to see all this gnarly stuff. You know what I'm saying? Rust and 
decay every single layer. Look at the sheetrock coming down. Everything is just peeling away from the extent of time and water damage. This is kind of what it looks like when you mix humid decay with uh, natural disaster decay from Mother Nature. Everything is just completely shot up. Yeah. Unfortunately. Hello, anybody in here? Just checking. I don't think anybody would be in here. There's no way. I don't think like no homeless people would want to come in here because like if you walk in here, like you can catch herpes or something. You might catch something you can't wash off. <laughs> <laughs> and every store is just, it's not even worth going into. Let me just stick to the main areas. Every now and then I might pop into a store and see what's going on. But there's really nothing left of this place. I feel like it would just be a waste of time. Okay, uh, let's start heading back. This is kind of what it looks like, just roaming through all that stuff. Look at him, look. He's right there. God. I tried to go up to him a few times already and just keeps walking away. And running up to him is not a even a priority right now because I already know what he's going to do if, run, if I run to him. He's going to run from me, so. Or either fly. He already flew before, so I don't know what's going on. That is a Canadian goose, I think. Oh, he's going to take off. He's going to take off. I thought he was taking off for a minute, but he was just flapping his wings. Why do geese do that? They flap their wings. Is it to, like, scare perpetrators or something? I don't know. There's the clock again. That says Wedding Plus. It has script on it up there, like it's from like a Disney movie or something. Wedding Plus. Come here. He keeps running away from me. All right, I'm gonna have to come back for you, buddy, but maybe we could be friends later. says Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. You know, my guess is whenever they start putting this kind of stuff inside malls, they're pretty much going to die out. And that's exactly what happened with this mall. I think it was dead at one point, which yeah, went out of business. It was dead. They put this here and shortly after it was gone. This elevator is completely trashed. I'm not going to even try to get inside because if I get inside of there, I might get trapped. Not a good idea to be walking on stuff like that, that's for sure. But yeah, it's the elevator. What does it say? What does that say? Pappy's Tacos Al Caban. Maybe it was a Mexican restaurant, not sure. Leave it in the comments if you ate here during your childhood.
I think I found the culprit of why does it smell like smoke throughout the mall? This was the reason why. My guess is they had a fire right here, smoke bellowed out, and as you can see, it stayed all on the top, comes down maybe like a foot from the wall, and just bellows all out through the mall. And I'm not sure if this, I'm gonna do some research on this place, but I'm not too sure if this burned down during when it was active, the mall, or did it burn down after? I don't know. About 44 acres closed back in the summer of 2017, but has been riddled with those break ins and fires. Now, fire officials tell me that since January, there have been at least six fires that they have responded to, but residents say they've seen many more fires than just six in that time span. Last night, just before seven, San Bernardino County Fire responded to that fire at the mall here. They say uh, they found smoke coming out of the closest entrance, but when firefighters entered into the building, officials say they found multiple units burning inside. Now, it was elevated to a three alarm fire, as you heard, with as many as 12 engines having to come out. Officials say this is the biggest one they've had so far. Now, the big question is why keep the shuttered mall here if it continues to bring issues to the city and surrounding businesses? Well, a city spokesperson tells me that the city is in the process of finalizing a deal with a developer to demolish the mall and build what could potentially house 3,500 housing units and some commercial and office spaces. Oh God! Is that a no what is that? Oh, that's a cat. There's a cat in here. So I found a goose, a cat. I don't feel so bad about the cat because I know the cat can get out. Cats are just smart like that. They can find like the smallest hole and they'll just remember their scent. Geese, on the other hand, I don't think it's going to work out. I would have to go get him. Actually, drag him out of here somehow. I don't know how. So. We're coming from the east wing of the mall. Now we're at the west wing, and it looks exactly the same on this side. On the other side, they had trees, but on this side, they have trees, and it looks like they also had a fountain, maybe. Yeah, this looks like it might have been like a waterfall or a fountain or something. Look at that. Yeah, you can kind of tell by the blue tiling. This is definitely some type of waterfall and look at that that's just something you don't see every day not anymore angry birds that was big in 2010 i believe not so much more now but still cool got a clock on this side missing some flags but you got some blue and pink i like the arch archways in here it looks very i guess spanish like maybe mexican architecture but yeah very cool nonetheless All right, so I'm not too sure what this story is. However, they did have some weird, quirky looking paintings on the wall. That's what it kind of attracted to me, this place, but leave it in the comment section if you know what this is. Got a monkey, a parrot, a cat, a lizard on the wall. And they will live there to the end of time, unfortunately, inside this decaying mall. Here's the other end of the mall. I'm probably not gonna walk in there just because it's starting to get like way too linear, like the same stuff over and over and over again. But you get the point. Let me zoom in a little bit. This is ju it's just blown out to bits. There's no remnants left or no clues left of anything that was once here. I don't even know what this was. Maybe like a J.C. Penny or a Dillard's maybe. I see escalator leading upstairs. I really have no desire to go up there because it's gonna be the same thing as this. This mall just sat way too long. I know I'm late, way late to this game. This mall has been abandoned for about a minute now and just, it was never well protected. And this is what happens when you let them all get to mother nature and vandalism. This is what happens. Here we have the San Bernardino City Unified School District Enrollment Center. And Again, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything cool inside. Yeah, just a bunch of scrap metal has been left over by scrappers and pretty much everything else. Disgusting in here.
right, so I made it to the staircase. So let's see what we can find upstairs. Hoping to find something cool. I doubt it, but stay tuned. All right, so I just made it to the second floor and this is what it looks like. Again, nothing but destruction in here. Still really cool to witness this in person. Well, I'm guessing they had multiple stores burned down in here because this is another culprit. This looked like it may have been a jewelry store, judging by this little casing right here, this little aquarium. Yeah, look at all that. Looks so dangerous in there. Uh, probably the coolest store I've seen so far just because of all the cool looking colors blocks and textures definitely looks like something out of Tetris for sure and that's it <laughs> all the rest is just burnt up to a crisp with nothing else left behind Wow, I think whatever happened here, I missed it again. These lonely hallways inside of an abandoned mall really gets to you, I tell you. One hour photo portrait studio and, oh, land. Photo land, there you go, got it. So I'm predicting there's probably gonna be a whole bunch of photos, yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is the coolest mall, So I mean, this is the coolest store so far. This is what I look after. Look at all these people's photos which land on the ground. Still here to the end of time. What is that? Oh, what is that one? Some random girl. Give me a thumbs up, baby. So besides the front of the store with all the pictures in it, I don't see nothing towards the back of the store like through here. They got those pictures hanging on the wall right there, but I don't, I don't know if that's like stock photos or actual pictures of people that have posed here for pictures. But they do have quite a bit. I don't know, never mind. They got some more pictures back here. Leave it in my comment section if that's you. Here we go. Leave it in the comment section if you recognize yourself. Look at that. Here's some more in there. They're scattered all about. Oh yeah, this mall, I think it's safe to say this mall had suffered many, many fires. It looks totally black in here. Totally black in, what the hell's that? Um, yeah, totally all blacked in here black ceiling everything is just black now we're gonna try to get out of here this is nasty Ugh. I'm gonna come out this place smelling like smoke and fog and piss yeah look at all those ashes what is this thing it's like a little lizard or something Yep, not too much left behind on the second story. And we only have like one, well, I only have one more section of the mall to do. Actually, yeah, I think I'm done. Like, this is it. This sad state of decay that it's in is just mind boggling that they would let something sit here this long. Can't believe it, but here it is. Look, there's that cat. If I get up, yeah, he's gonna get up too. Ooh, he looks kind of bad. His tail looks a little messed up like he's been in a couple of fights. Hey. Oh, there's two cats. 
Look. There's two of them. Can y'all see that on camera? Let me try to go over there and uh, tell him hi. He looks, I don't know if they are in rough shape or not. Well, yeah, he's, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna scurry off. I know it. Come here. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, don't fight. I think there might be fighting. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. They went way through that glass over there. I hope they didn't hurt themselves. Yep, figured that. Yeah, honestly, like, I feel worse for the goose than the cats. Because the cats, I'm not going to worry about because I know they probably know the way in and out of here like cake. But, oh, I hear him. Oh, there's the other cat. There's the other cat. Look, he's running. He's running. There's a basement to this place? The hell? Oh, okay. I think I know what that is. That goes underneath the elevator. That goes nowhere. That's not for customers, so I'm not going to go. Yeah, that's a trap door leading to the elevator parts. All right. Um, yeah, but you know what? Like, I don't, I don't feel so bad for the cats because I know the cats are going to get out of here. The goose is not going to get out of here. A window could be wide open for a bird, and they just cannot find their way out of a place. Unfortunately. This place called Jim A. Moving to City of Redlands. I think that's what everybody's doing, moving out of here. San Bernardino is going somewhere else. Everybody's moving to Texas and Florida. You have a look at this place. Look at all the natural decay coming in this part. Ooh, that's a lot. That is disgusting. What is this thing? All right, so right now I'm standing next to the elevators down this little basement area, and I believe this is where they found the gentleman that died. That is crazy to be reliving that moment that he suffered, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I think this is where they found him. In this little bitty cubby hole right here. Not much to this. Oh, it stinks so bad in here. What is that? We gotta get out of here. Alright, this is your last chance. I can't help you if you don't let me grab you and get you out of here. Come here. Come here. Look, look. Come here. There <laughs> Come on. He's running away. Come here. I'm gonna try to get you out of here. You're gonna hurt yourself. Come here. Oh, oh, yep, that's what I figured. He keeps flying away from me, unfortunately. I'm not gonna be able to grab him. Uh, I'll call animal control, I guess, to come get him out, but I doubt they would not even come in here. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Animal services. Hey, how's it going? I had a question. Do y'all rescue birds? No, we do not. <coughs> um, we can take in, like, injured um, and try to find a rescue for it, but we don't take in healthy birds. Gotcha. Yeah, because I just came from Carousel Mall, the mall that's abandoned in San Bernardino, and there's this goose flying around, and I'm trying to get them, but... He keeps flying away, and, I, and I'm 
scared he's just not going to find his way out of there, unfortunately. Inside the mall? Yeah. <clears throat> because oh, there's okay. th- because there's cracks in the skylight. He came in and he yeah. tried I can see he's trying to get out, but like he just keeps flying all around, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure he'll find a way out. I hope so. But you can also try to call California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You have a good one. After several attempts of trying to reach out for someone to save the goose, I finally found someone to do it. But did they? I honestly couldn't tell you. But I do know that shortly after this visit, the mall was demolished. Thanks for watching.